huge when you were doing it? Yeah, it felt pretty big. There were moments where it felt uh, out, of con out of control kind of big. I don't know, what do you think is big? The dead man's chest. We'd sail out to sea every day and uh, you'd have a couple of big pirate ships around you. And you're standing at the base of the 40-foot wheel and they're about to strap you in. It's a, <laughs> it's a real, uh, it's a real eye-opener. Oh, Why do you think people have reacted to Captain Jack Sparrow and your interpretation in the way they have, Johnny? Boy, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, Did it surprise you? Oh, yeah. Absolutely surprised me. Still surprises me. It's the part that he's been born to play. There will come a moment when you have the chance to do the right thing. I love those moments. I like to wave at them as they pass by. There's more Johnny in Captain Jack than in any other part he's played. It's a character-driven story. I mean, this film would be nothing without Jack Sparrow. And that's what makes it such a great movie, is that it's not just about action, action, action. And even the action is very character-driven. You owe me your soul. Tell me the difference of the physical stuff versus the shooting, the three-page dialogue scenes. I do like the physical stuff, but I, but I just... It feels more comfortable being in a scene and exploring that kind of world. Uh, when you get into the world of stunts, there are times when it takes forever to shoot one little quick cut. For five weeks, we hadn't done a scene. I mean, a scene with, you know, other people talking. And I just, you know, you start going nuts. We have our heading. My worry was that how would you top, like, pirates that turn skeletal in moonlight. And I really think that they've created like a, a great sequel. And it really manages to tap into both kids and, and adult kind of pirate fantasy land. Partly because it's so tongue in cheek, you know, and doesn't take itself too seriously. And I don't think you can get much bigger as a movie.